Hi guys, welcome to Tech News Day. There was once a time, not long ago, when all that the average person really knew about Elon Musk was that he uh, owned a car company that was almost single-handedly making the idea of electric cars cool and promising a future when our cars would drive themselves. Uh, he owned a solar energy company that was making renewable energy much more cost-effective. And he owned a space rocket company that live-streamed a car being launched into space. What a he, cool guy. And he was promising manned missions to Mars in the next 20 years. All really cool shit. Is he even human or is he a Martian? Yeah. This, this Elon, guy's perfect. This guy sounds awesome. Yeah. He's like a real life Tony Stark. Wow. wow. So cool. Well, one of the worst parts of our modern social media heavy existence, or maybe best parts, depending on how you look at it, is that people like Elon Musk, who from a distance seem cool as hell, can just beam their thoughts directly to the public, thus exposing various ways in which they totally suck. Uh, which you'd have been totally unaware of if they just put the phone down or gone and taken a nap in their big pile of money, or as Musk likes to do, on his couch, because he just works so hard. Mm -hmm. But if you work hard, enough to where you have to sleep on your couch. probably that bad back that he's got from sitting on that couch He's very time. upset. If you're working too, so hard that you can't go home and you have to sleep on the couch, how do you find time for Twitter? Or just, you're a billionaire. Buy a nice Casper mattress, put it in your office. Turn one of the conference rooms into an apartment. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, uh, with Elon Musk, this of course isn't news. He's been tweeting his foot in his mouth over the past few months. This has been a slowly, gradually increasing thing that has happened in a bad way. He's also just been tweeting way more in general lately, just at all. Here's a graph showing just how much more frequently he's been tweeting compared to the last few years. Yeah, pretty stark. Anyways, let's uh, get to the point here. Uh, you've prob probably already heard this, but if you somehow haven't, Strap in, because on Sunday, Elon Musk went on Twitter and accused one of those divers that had rescued those children from the cave in Thailand of being a pedophile. Mm -hmm. That happened. This is real life. Yes. Well, for background, uh, last month, 12 boys in Thailand, along with their soccer coach, went exploring in a local cave, but then they were hit with a flash flood, which forced them to retreat even further into the cave, where they were then stuck due to the rising water levels. They survived there for 10 days in darkness, just drinking water condensation off the cave walls and meditating to use less oxygen. Eventually, a rescue diver was able to find the specific part of the cave that they were trapped in, allowing rescuers to bring them food and oxygen. But doing so was a giant pain in the ass that involved swimming through crevices that were so small that the divers had to take off their oxygen tanks even to fit through. As an example of just how dangerous this was, a retired Thai Navy SEAL who volunteered for the rescue efforts died while trying to deliver oxygen tanks to the boys. This was a very difficult operation even for elite trained soldiers and other professional divers who arrived from around the world to help out. But don't worry, professional divers who have devoted your entire lives to doing exactly this sort of thing. Help is on the way, mm -hmm. courtesy of Elon Musk, a man who knows exactly jack shit about cave diving, and his company, SpaceX, a company that builds rockets that shoot up into the sky. And I can already hear the rattling coming from your mechanical keyboards as you type, well, what did you do to help? Fine. Fair enough. The intentions here were noble, at least on the surface. Uh, Elon Musk didn't have to do anything, but he did, and that's nice. Yes. But, but it's also sort of ridiculous and kind of insulting that instead of, I don't know, donating money and supplies to the existing operation, Elon Musk thought that he could literally invent a new way to do cave dive rescues in just a few short days that he would then beta test on live human children. It's like when I donate to Doctors Without Borders. Why aren't you there? Stitching up people. Because I'm not a fucking doctor. I'm not a doctor, and I don't have any ideas on how to do it better. So I just send money to Doctors Without Borders to support their cause, because I think it's noble. So, I don't know. Mm. And, and yes, Elon Musk and SpaceX, they were in contact with the rescuers trading ideas back and forth. And the rescuers were, in, in general, pretty grateful to have more people helping out and exploring other ideas. We understand that. <laughs> But in the end, the SpaceX boy submarine didn't end up getting used because a storm was coming that would have added even more water to the cave. Uh, instead, the actual rescue team executed their own plan, which proved to be successful. It involved heavily sedating the boys in their coach so that they wouldn't panic, and essentially putting each of them in a human-sized shopping bag with a scuba tank inside that was attached to a rope and pulley system that guided rescuers a mile and a half through a treacherous path involving sections where SpaceX's rigid metal capsule would almost certainly not have fit through. In the end, all the boys survived and the world breathed a collective sigh of relief before remembering all the other ways that everything is totally fucked up in the world right now. Yeah, so of course, Elon Musk was just, you know, just happy to see the boys alive, right? Mm -hmm. His motivation in all this was simply to save lives, 
Right. And he did leave his metal canister behind in Thailand in case it happens again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like when you bring a keg to a party and you're like, oh, you can keep the keg. Yeah. Oh, good. Just make sure you return <laughs> it because it's just deposit. It's <laughs> a lot of money. Uh, yeah, so he, he, his intentions were noble here, right? Yeah. I mean, I hope so, because it would be pretty fucked up if his motivations here were ego-driven and self-serving. That would be a big mistake. That would be really sad. Yeah, I wouldn't assume that of Elon Musk. Well, who's to say, though? Uh, what we do know is that when reporters from CNN were interviewing the rescuers after the fact, they asked one of those rescuers, diver Vernon Unsworth, about what he thought of the SpaceX boy submarine, and he, probably annoyed as fuck that he had to even talk about this after it ended up having zero role in the exhausting rescue that he had just partaken in. Let me interject here. Imagine that you've just done this rescue <laughs> effort, right? You've just done this bit, this big thing where it is life or death. Yeah. You are rescuing children For from no money. Kid. You're doing this out of the kindness of your heart. With the entire world watching with the <laughs> pressure on you and someone is like, but what do you think about Elon Musk bringing his submarine? And you're like, like, oh. what, how would your natural reaction to that <laughs> like, be? Yeah, I'm asking you, watching, I, yeah. and I know that a lot of you don't agree with us. Like, we're not trying to bash Elon Musk, but he keeps giving it to us. <laughs> and what I'm saying is, if you were this diver, what would you, down here, in your heart, what would your reaction to this be? And please understand that as we read this to you. Yeah. So, I mean, I think he had, he had a reasonable reason to be a little frustrated with the question. They, uh, they keep asking about Elon Musk, we just <laughs> saved these fucking kids. Yeah, so he was asked, uh, hey, sir, that you're you're probably freezing and uh, probably in pain and very tired. sore and tired and just relieved that this Mentally is all Mentally exhausted. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. What about that Elon Musk thing that no one ended up actually using? Yeah. Well, he replied, he can stick his submarine where it hurts. It just had absolutely no chance of working. He had no conception of what the cave passage was like. The submarine, I believe, was about five foot six long, rigid, so it wouldn't have gone around corners or around any obstacles. It wouldn't have made the first 50 meters into the cave from the dive start point, just a PR stunt. When the reporter then replied, but he went in the cave on Tuesday, right? Unsworth replied, and he was asked to leave very quickly, and so he should have been. So. He's not really mincing words there. It's pretty brutal and seemingly a confirmation from someone in the know that the online criticism of the SpaceX boy submarine was valid, at least in many terms. Uh, outside of being a noble gesture. <laughs> Misguided, but noble. But anyways, so if you're Elon Musk, we're putting you back in a different position. If you're Elon Musk, what do you do in this situation? You're, you're the CEO, founder of multi-million dollar companies. You got yeah. companies over here, companies over here, saving the earth. Grabbing that sky but energy. But this British man on the other side of the world said a mean thing about me. No, I'm no, Elliot. I'm going to concentrate on on harvesting energy from the sky and powering cars with electricity and 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 taking the driver out of the situation so that the roads are safer. No, actually, I'm not going to fucking do that. I'm Elon Musk, and for whatever reason, I get into petty squabbles online <laughs> constantly. Well, listen, an option that Elon Musk did have is issue a statement and reply saying that this was not a PR stunt, and it disappoints you to hear that because uh, you and your team put in a lot of work here, and you're only trying to help, and you're glad that in the end everyone got what they wanted. All the boys safely out of the cave that oh, all said and done good yeah hey, it's let's fine go. it's mm -hmm. fine and now option two would be to realize you can't please all the people all the time not comment and simply move on the classic now it's called the internet today method it was the etc method but it's called shutting the fuck up when you're digging yourself yeah. a hole uh you could move on and know that you're still one of the most successful and admired people alive today done <laughs> option three <laughs> option three now this is the one he chose spoiler uh <laughs> Option three is to go on Twitter and call the guy who just risked his life in child rescue uh, a pedophile. <laughs> and not only that, bet a, bet a signed dollar on it. <sighs> it's a bold move, especially coming just days after another big CEO, Papa John himself, lost basically everything because he too could not simply shut the fuck up. Here's what Elon wrote. Never saw this British expat guy who lives in Thailand, sus, at any point when we were in the caves. <laughs> sus. <laughs> Grimes, give that man his phone uh, back. <laughs> only people in sight were the Thai Navy Army guys, who were great. Thai Navy SEALs escorted us in, total opposite of wanting us to leave. Water level was actually very low and still not flowing. You could literally have swum to Cave 5 with no gear, which is obviously how the kids got in. If not true, then I challenge this dude to show final rescue video. Huge credit to Pump and Generator Team. Unsung heroes here. You know what? Don't bother showing the video. We will make one of the mini sub pod going all the way to K5, no problem. We're going back to Thailand, baby. Sorry, pedo guy. You really did ask for it. Oh, Ooh, and then, uh, you know, okay. 
Then someone posted a screenshot of this ridiculous quote being like, uh, did you see this? Elon Musk called this Are you this sure guy. that you <laughs> meant to say this? Yeah, I think Elon Musk just called this hero a pedophile. And Musk replied to that with, bet you a sign dollar it's true. I said this on Twitter over the weekend, and this was before the pedophile thing came out. <laughs> this was before the pedophile thing. I said this on Twitter, I said, I wonder if the boring company knows they have the best person at digging holes right in front of them <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Woo! The whole time. The boring company has solved their problems. Yeah. Just put Elon down there with a phone. We don't need a machine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeesh, right? Elon's basically saying here that the only reason any British adult male would ever live in Thailand is to fuck children mm. and not I don't know, because you're a professional diver who decided to start a tourist diving business in a beautiful, affordable country with lots of places to scuba dive? No, it couldn't possibly be that. Very classy, Elon. Also though, uh, don't let the pedo comments distract from the fact that Elon Musk also said that only Thai military personnel were involved in the rescue uh, mission. Wrong. Uh, that kids swam to the cave they got trapped in. Wrong, a lot of and, them can't even swim. And that apparently none of this rescue business was even necessary because they could have just easily swam back out. Oh. Huh? Elon, some of these kids, they can't even fucking swim. And, and that's one of the most basic things that this rescue operation had to take into account. How can you claim to have been able to save these kids while not knowing this? And we, we wouldn't even be questioning this if you just didn't say anything. If he had just been like, I'm developing my child coffin, I mean, rescue pod here, if just, they don't just want in it, case, yeah. That's fine. Just in case we're exploring other options. If the rains come through, it floods, it's the only option. At least it's here. Goodbye, everyone. Here's a couple Poof. pictures. Uh, yeah. Oh man, what a hero. The best. But no. <laughs> the best meme, there, obviously someone did one of the oh, Simpsons the, the, memes. The, the Simpsons memes where oh, it was yeah. like, did, did you didn't do anything, <laughs> didn't I? But then they changed it this weekend where it was like, but you didn't even do anything. And he goes, you're a pedophile. <laughs> There's, uh, there's the other Simpsons meme of uh, a poo jumping in front of the attacker. It was yeah. uh, Elon Musk. Weird internet nerds defending I love Elon the, uh, Musk from valid criticism. Late Elon Musk was a great meme that's been developing where like uh, when uh, England started losing the game, uh, at the end, uh, Elon Musk shows up with a goal scoring machine he invented. Yeah. <laughs> he did it to himself. I, this is the thing. The guy has done great things for society. Yeah. He's done great things for technology. But did he, he do is, it because he wanted to help society? Or did he do it because he wanted people to say, thank you, Elon, we couldn't, we would all be fucked with not, if not for you. I think that he did set out on this mission to do things that other companies weren't doing. Because, because they're, they're reliant on fossil fuels, because of the reliance on pre-established uh, uh, the, the way things that were, worked before, he is someone that shook up the industry. He innovated, he's a, he, he, I give him all the credit for doing what he did. All he has to do was the simplest thing. The simplest part of his entire life equation is just stop talking on Twitter. Yeah, that's really it. Like just, just fucking throw your you, phone if away. You, if you remove the existence of Twitter Elon from this entire equation, the man is a hero. And he's probably <laughs> in this time frame already on Mars. Yeah. Think of how much things he could be getting done if he just uninstalled the app. It's wild. Anyways. Honey, what's that term you use? Sus? I will use it too. <laughs> yes, this is very, what is the word again? Hey honey, why didn't you ask me what sus meant earlier? Oh, no reason. Oh. No, that's fake news. I would love to be a fly on the wall in their conversations. Mm -hmm. I just can't even fathom what that could be like. Anyway. Especially with this dynamic <laughs> in unfolding in the beginning, in the beginning of a relationship. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyways, well, yeah, so uh, you might watch the show Silicon Valley. Uh, the character of Gavin Belson, the CEO of Hooli yeah. on that show, HBO's Silicon Valley, he once said in season two, I don't want to live in a world where someone else is making the world a better place better than we are. And it turns out Silicon Valley is a pretty accurate show. More accurate than they probably knew at the time. Yeah. Which is especially ironic because Elon Musk, like when season one of that came out, he was like, this show's bullshit. They got everything wrong. Mm. Maybe it was a little too. It's funny right. because a lot of people in Silicon Valley seem to think that the show gets it like shockingly right. Yeah. And even having worked at startup companies, not even just the last one we were at, but before that, it's pretty fucking bad. There's, a, a, there's the a specific culture yeah. attached to it. Anyway. Yeah, so those tweets where Elon Musk called a hero a pedophile. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even say this without 
Well, I've invented a detective machine, and I'm bringing it to Thailand to prove. <laughs> Yeah, the submarine. It was. It was just. A, it was a sting operation. Yeah. <laughs> Next season. We just wanted to, to see if he would climb Brennan. in there with the boy. Yeah. Why don't you take a seat on the submarine? <laughs> and then we were gonna <laughs> rocket him into space. So the tweets where Elon Musk called a hero a pedophile because the guy didn't like him. They were, of course, deleted later in the day, probably not long after Elon Musk's lawyer called him up and let him know that he could now very easily be sued for libel over this, especially oh. since Vernon Unsworth is a British citizen and the UK courts take libel very fucking seriously. Whoops. And uh, yeah, the guy, he now says that he's considering suing Elon Musk. And as soon as he said that, lawyers around the world got an erection that lasted more than three hours and they're all at the doctor now. All because Elon couldn't follow the one simple rule that we have to keep repeating for some goddamn reason. What should you do when, when shit hits the fan? Shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Just shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Anyways, as for what this means for Tesla, who has more than enough problems already. Their stock took a big dip early in the week, but it's since recovered. Uh, their products, they're good. He, he met his goals in Q2. Great, we'd be talking about that right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, he built a warehouse outside would... in order to fulfill the orders, and that is a good thing that he, he was like, you know what, the customers are gonna get what they paid for. Would be great news. That would, those would be great headlines. Yeah. Meanwhile, though, uh, we've got to wonder how Tesla's board of directors feel about this kind of completely avoidable bad PR. Now, remember Travis Kalanick, the guy who created Uber and built it into an absolute powerhouse, almost single-handedly changing the way people get from point A to point B? He was the guy behind Uber. But after scandal, after scandal, after scandal, he was then ousted from the company that he built because he just shouldn't, he couldn't shut the fuck up. Now, we've got to imagine a similar sentiment exists to some extent, behind the scenes in the boardrooms of Tesla, although I don't consider Kalanick like the face of a company, whereas Elon Musk is the face. Yeah, which makes it worse. Yes. And Kalanick, <laughs> to his credit, didn't as much go publicly fucking up. Yeah, I don't he, think he was he on Twitter. He got caught on like, camera yeah. in one of his driver's cars. Yeah, he, he kept the like batshit insane, stupid, cruel things that he said, mostly to on the record, uh, interviews and yeah, things yeah. like of that such. Yeah, and then all the all the actual terrible, horrible real life stuff got caught on camera and through conversations with his employees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's <laughs> half measures. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it's it's highly likely that most billionaire CEOs are difficult, egotistical pricks who believe all their own hype. Mm -hmm. Probably all of them. Uh, most of them at least though have the self-awareness to know not to let the mask slip in public. Yeah. They also understand what's called the Streisand effect, where if you're famous and you complain about press coverage that you don't like, you're gonna get a lot more press coverage that you don't like. Mm -hmm. now, Jeff Bezos gets accused of basically treating Amazon employees like livestock, but you don't see him on Twitter shouting fake news directly at journalists who write about him because he's got a company to run, he's literally the richest man on earth, and the average Amazon customer isn't reading Bloomberg and Business Insider on a daily basis. They just wanna buy shit. Yes, his, by all accounts, this issue should be way bigger than, than yeah. anything Elon Musk is putting out. Although Elon Musk, questionable tactics at his companies too. But what I'm saying is Jeff Bezos just lets the story die constantly. Yeah. It keeps getting brought up, but he, but he just doesn't acknowledge it. Elon Musk has created a situation where when I, now when I see a Tesla on the road, I think kinda like, I'm like, oh, fuck Elon Musk. But if I go on Amazon to shop, I'm never I, thinking fuck The Jeff first Bezos. thing that comes to mind is not that Amazon is, a, I don't is know who, devouring the world. I don't know who Ralph is. I go to the grocery store and I buy food. <laughs> Who's Ralph? I don't know. King Ralph? My Scooby, name's that guy. Ralph Kroger and uh, That's his I'm name? the face of this. I don't know. It's like <laughs> Sam Walton. People hate that guy, but he was old and he died. So it doesn't matter anymore. Anyway, Steve Jobs had a lot of common with uh, Elon Musk. He wasn't just the CEO. He was the face of the company that was doing new and exciting things. Like I pointed out with the Kalanick thing versus Musk. And, and lots of people absolutely adored him. Lots of other people didn't love him, but that's just how it is when you're rich and famous. And now by most first-hand accounts, he pretty much had a God complex and was an absolute nightmare to be around behind the scenes, but we only know that now that be because he's dead and people feel comfortable speaking freely about it. Steve Jobs didn't even have a Twitter account, and whether that's because he was too busy working or because he knew he was an asshole and would inevitably make himself look bad, it was probably a good call. He was so, loved himself so much that he thought, I'm smarter than doctors. Yeah. I'll solve this. I'll just thing on my eat own. fruit all day. Yeah. And cure my cancer through the power of fruit. As we all know, Steve Jobs, pretty much a nightmare to work with based on any conversations you'd have with Apple employees or anyone around at that time. But he got shit done. 
And he didn't fucking bitch on Twitter. And he didn't go on Twitter. That's mm-hmm. right. In any case, Steve Jobs, he's dead, just like there all of us will be someday. And it's up to each of us to live in a way where we'll be remembered as either a good person or who made you know the world a better place, maybe, or an insecure, egotistical prick with a pathological need to be loved by absolutely everyone, no matter what we do. And in, in turn, when you do that, it might backfire. Also, a lot of these problems, and it's hard to think in simple terms when you're talking about tech billionaires, CEOs, inventors, geniuses, they often forget like the most simple things in life needed to just get through it in general. They have a lot of blind spots. The big thing, and a lot of people have this problem, and I'm sure a lot of you will run into your own life, sometimes you need to get out of your own way. Yeah. It's the biggest kind of like uh, inspiration that these guys could use specifically, specifically Elon Musk right now. Like, just get out of your own way, yeah. let it die down, yeah. get off Twitter, Go on vacation. Job. You know what'd be great? Is if Elon Musk was not on Twitter for the next two years, and next thing you know, we're going to Mars. Yeah. Great press. Again, delete the app. Think of how much more you could get done. So yeah, there's the end. Oh wait, never mind. We didn't even talk about the fact that Elon Musk apparently donates tons of money to Republican politicians. Another thing that people are mad about him this week. And yeah, okay, he does. He also donates to a lot of Democrats too. So fine, but it's still mostly just an example of how fucking weird and bad our pay-to-play political system is here. And it's also pretty fucked up for a guy who at least appears to care about renewable energy to be giving campaign money to Republican politicians who straight up do not believe in climate change. On the record, climate change is not real. So this is, (laughs) when I talked about this this weekend, this was the digging holes thing, and people were giving me shit because they thought it was me being like, they went, there was this whole fucking, oh, you fucking liberal, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't care what the guy does with his money. I yeah. care about the fact that it is little, literally like the antithesis of what he outwardly shows the world he believes yeah. in. And also is an example of how money is the most important thing in politics. Those two are the issues yeah. I have. Do whatever you want with your fucking money, but don't preach one thing and do the other. Yeah. Is what, uh, that's, that's all. All right, that's, that, that's. Uh, Muskwatch! That's, that's Dan Casey's show. They have a show got that? Yeah, it's Musk? called Muskwatch. Jeez, their fans must be upset by now. Did they sugarcoat it? I don't know. We gotta watch it. I, I only watched it back when he was like launching cars into space and shit. Yeah. And I was like, what What cool shit did Elon do this week? I don't know. I now it must be Dan just going, mm, <laughs> hey guys, so. <laughs> anyways, uh, the sub, it was waterproof. It was waterproof. <laughs> No water leak. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to check that out. I wonder how it's going. That's enough Elon Musk for one week. Watch your other shows or you're a pedophile. Don't sue me. Bet you a dollar. Bet you, bet you a signed dollar. Oh, yeah. That one dollar is now worth I love so that. much more. Just a little like note on it, too. Like, the dollar's worth more. Do you think signed. he leaves signed one dollar bills as tips at restaurants? Maybe. See, I could tip you $20 for this meal. I could tip you with a full 18 to 20 percent, but here you have a signed one dollar bill, an inspiration. which is priceless, inspiration. and will inspire you to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Now, can I have the Wi-Fi password, please? <laughs> I have some tweeting to do. All right, let's get Bye. the fuck out of here. Bye.